Hi, my name is Benjamin, but you can call me Benji. Like the dog, but with three legs. Actually, I guess it's four. And this is G. What you're about to see is I'm in the process of learning how to use editing software, so this is all new to me. My videos before used to be one long, unedited thing. Now as I've tried to learn to use software, it's just a jumbled mess. So I'm scrapping this first episode, but I just didn't want to throw it away. So I'm just giving this intro and posting it as episode zero, or act zero. So please enjoy and know that this is not a finished product and at some point here in the near future there will be something more definitive. Something more, something less. So here you are, the Benjis Act Zero. I've been uh, in front of my computer more than usual and sitting more than usual, so and, uh, I was kind of on a downslope for a little while. Being lazy, I will not be sitting down as much. It's addictive. I found something to do. You know, I, I was playing some games, um, working on a few things, so I found myself in front of the computer slash TV more often. So that being inactive plus the cold, uh, it was a pit drawing me into being more inactive. And it sucks when you live by yourself at the end of the night. You don't really got anybody going, you know, hey, good job, or you fucked up, or where are the car keys? I told you I'd call you. Why didn't you fucking call? Here I was, dinner was made, and now what? I cleaned the kitchen, uh, the living room I picked up a little bit, uh, and I, I've been vacuuming, the, attempting to use the vacuum, which we have dubbed the siren. <laughs> you gotta, gotta smack her around. It's been nice enough to where I've had the windows open and been able to go outside with G and that's enough to give me a little bit more exercise too because I'm using the stairs. Uh, it's just that when it's windy I, I can't take him out. I can't risk that right now at least. So I don't go out as much. I just wish I had easier access to the backyard they said that evil lived in that and that house. i could stand in the backyard's full of these big old potholes and stuff and i can't i can't hang out in the backyard so i have to find things to keep me busy and most of the winter has been okay but it just seems like every time that i had plans to go out it, it snowed and not having your own vehicle that's a poor excuse but but it's been hard to, to, to get, keep myself motivated. Uh, you know, when I got out of the hospital, I was so ready and raring to do so much, and it scared the shit out of me. I really kicked myself into gear. Well, moving that hard, pushing myself that hard for that many weeks, I think I finally had a mental collapse. Because physically, every time, you know, my body goes through these cycles where I'm doing really good, 
getting stronger and then bam I hit a wall and I have to start all over but uh, that's okay I just that's just how my body works well this time was more of a mental and a spiritual breakdown and then I realized that I'm an idiot that I let that the gravity of my depression pull me in and that wasn't good so back to the bright side back to I know that I can take back my physical strength as long as I keep moving and as long as I keep doing more and more and more it's so fucking difficult because every little thing I do I have to pay attention to or I'm gonna knock shit over or I'm gonna spill things or I'm gonna drop things stub my toe, fall over, trip over things. So it's this constant mental state I have to be in, and, and it's, that's why it's exhausting. And I really don't want to worry about that shit anymore. Or at least not as much. This video, this specifically these videos of me um, are meant to help me uh, follow my progress and to keep myself <laughs> entertained, uh, occupied, and accountable. This will help me keep myself from drinking, I hope, keep me on a regular schedule, and, uh, you know, all kinds of things. From an artistic standpoint, this is practice of teaching me how to, you know, use the software and all that good stuff. And, you know, for anybody else out there that has muscular dystrophy or CMD, my specific type, because there aren't a lot of people out there that have CMD. Everyone has Duchenne's or, or, or uh, ALS, um, and their conditions are far worse. I don't know very many people my age with CMD, most are children, and most of them are already in a wheelchair. So I, I've been given this gift that I've blown several times, and now if I really want it, I have to work very, very hard to take it back and keep it. So all of you out there that do not have a, a disability, that you're just lazy um, or whatever your reason maybe this will help uh, motivate you too because the health repercussions you get from years of bad dieting and no exercise I I get within a couple of days so just keep that in mind as, as retrospect going to take a fuck shit ton of work. That's why I moved here, because this was going to be the hardest place, the most difficult place for me to live at, to live at, while being the most resourceful place for me to, uh, to live on my own, safely. So, you know, it's both. It's it's my safety net and my training ground. 